You ever have one of those quads that just gives you trouble after trouble after trouble after trouble, no matter what you do? This is one of those quads. You can't see it because the GoPro's on it, but this is the quad that had the noise issue. Remember that one? And I showed you all the ways I tried to troubleshoot the noise and I still didn't fix it. And I replaced the ESC, no, I replaced the flight controller. I replaced the flight controller and I put the helio spring on it and it flew pretty good for a while and now it's got another freaking problem unrelated to the helio spring no, no 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 nothing to do with that it's got I think it's got a bad ESC it's a foreign one ESC I think it's got a bad channel and in fact it's not completely failed but I'm gonna I want to show you what it does when you have a slightly failing but not quite failing ESC it's pretty distinctive and if it ever happens to you then you'll recognize it Let's go. Hey folks, Joshua from the future here. I have put the sticks and the motor traces uh, over this. And what I want you to notice is, pay attention to how the quad behaves when, when Joshua raises the throttle. But also look at the motor and notice, do you, do you see anything that stands out? One motor is spiking to full and all the other motors are staying down. That motor that's spiking to full, that is the one that's having a problem. And that's why the quad tips violently to the side when you jam the throttle, because that motor is not getting to full power. So, yeah, there, there you go. Just watch it some more. Watch it in slow-mo. Freeze frame. Do whatever you like. I blame the ESC the way that the quad goes as you jam the throttle that's not a tuning issue that's a hardware issue you might be able to tune it out if you tried real hard but that's kind of like if you got a sprained ankle yeah you can limp on it but you ain't you still ain't walking right um, that's a hardware issue and usually to my mind it means a damaged ESC what I think happens is that you've got like one FET on the ESC is not working right. So you're not getting full power to the motor, uh, but you're getting some power and it's not just randomly desyncing like crazy. I don't know, that's just a guess. That's gonna do it for this video. Whether it turns out to be the ESC or not, that, I've had this happen a couple other times. That is exactly what a bad, a failing ESC looks like. When you're flying normally, most of the time, it's fine, but then suddenly when you go to full throttle, it just kind of goes and just holds position and tilts toward the motor with the bad ESC. So in my case, I think it would be front left because it's, it's tilting that way. There you go. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.